All right, versus this, I don't want any of this. Actually, Karn's really good. Turn six, but that's a long way away. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go with reality here. Get, I'll hope to get Karn later, but I can't just bring that in right now. These are really good, Earthshock, Rockbiter. My goal is to not put stuff on board. It's to uh, just keep clearing the board. That's really the most important thing versus a hunter. Do not be throwing stuff on the board. What's he coining out here? Perfect. Bloodfin Raptor. This is a coin. He's wasted it. That thing will die instantaneously. And to be honest, I don't even care about clearing, about wasting mana right now. I'm just going to kill it. Pass. Next turn I'll have two for a totem. You just don't want to give them board control. River Croc, I will kill with my Rock Biter. Uh, yep. Next turn, I'll be able to bring out the Yeti. And you just want to have one minion on the board. Slow and steady wins the race. A 3-3 three, three Taunt is okay. That will be able to attack me, but it's not super scary. Yeti's way scarier. He can do two additional damage with some kind of weapon, but I don't know if this ga this one's running weapons, so we'll see. What's he got here? Five damage to a beast. Look at that. Kill command. Not bad. That's actually pretty strong. Kill command's good. So, I think what I'm going to do is just faceless manip and just take, a co take his 3-3. Three, three. Um, I, I just don't want to take a lot of damage here, and I want to keep having the board clear, 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 clear till the late game. Knife juggler is fine. Another taunt is fine. Okay, so I've got wolves. So three, four, five, six. So this will die. And I am going to bring down the wolves because while he may be able to uh, have, th have three minions this one turn, that may I'm going to start clearing the board soon. So I don't know how powerful his uh, Unleash the Hounds will be. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to use my I'm going to use my one one to kill to trade with that, and I'm probably going to taunt that. Let's see, do I want to do that? I want that to die. Yeah, 2-3 two, three to 2-3 two, is fine. Let's see what I get here. Fire Elemental, that's not bad for next turn. Um, let's just hex it. So I only have two minions on board with Taunt, so I don't think his power is going to be super scary at this point. And I have eight next turn. Okay, that's got to die. Unleash the Hound, so I'll get two Hounds. So this is perfect. Him using Unleash the Hound to kill one of my guys is awesome. This is really great for me. So... I've got eight damage here. Um, I'm going to kill that, and I'm going to kill that. Mm -hmm. I just don't want him having anything on board. I have two minions, he's used one of his Unleash the Hounds, he's in a tricky spot. I don't think he's going to be able to do much to me next turn. Okay, charge. Charge. So he can get rid of my 6-5. 
everything of his dies. What do I get? A Drake? That's fine. A Lightning Storm is fine too. Oh, do I, I don't want to bring out a ton of totems. I'm going to bring out this one. So, I'm going to have to start clearing. I can't keep everything on the board here. Okay, gets a companion. Gets a 5 4. Some hero damage. I'm going to get to clear that right now. So, that's fine. Okay, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I can't quite do everything here. Leroy, 7. I think I want to give it Wind Fury. I'm going to do the Rock Bite of the following turn. So he's pretty much shit out of luck here, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Two damage. Knife juggler. That's GG. Well played, my friend. GG, motherfucker. If you guess I guess I can do that. <laughs> that is how you take care of a hunter, ladies and gentlemen. Warlock. So what warlock is this? The rundown, the board control, or otherwise. So I think I'm gonna keep God damn. Do I keep the hex? I, th I kind of want to keep the hex. That's pretty good. Tink and hex for the uh, giant, feral for the rundown, and nap pig for everything. Okay, so this is the rundown. So I'm going to bring out the ferals when I can. And I might just have to start hexing stuff because it's re relatively cheap. And I don't want him to gain any kind of control. Lepronome. That's hexable, but right now I'm going to feral. Murlocs. Okay. Um... I don't have anything to do for two. He's probably going to get rid Oh, yes! Can't get rid of Nat Pagel. Perfect. Not at least with the minions on board. That worked out really well for me. Juggler. Now he can if he brings down two min. No, okay. So he can't kill Pagel. Okay. This is definitely a lightning storm situation here. Because it'll kill so much. Better than, uh, better than lightning, better than the uh, feral spirits. That's probably GG. But we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna have two next turn. Not much I can do, just a totem, but. Yeah, that's what happens. They just realize it's over. 
<laughs> that was super quick. Shaman or mage? We'll go with shaman. Thank you. We'll take that. That's why uh, Lightning Storm is better than Feral Spirits in that situation. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, Priest. This is tricky. Priests are tricky. I don't think I want any of this. I definitely don't want any of this. There are some aggro priests out there. But I think I have ways of dealing with it, and Feral Spirit is not the best. That's better if there's something scary early game. What I would really like is a Hex or a, um, or a, um, a Pickle's really good, actually. Perfect. What I really want is a Hex or a, um, Earth Shock. Because there are some scary things that can be brought on the board that a Hex and an Earth Shock deal with. That, specifically, you don't want a Tink Master. Because you don't want to leave them with a five. Five when they have healing. Turn two will probably be a totem. Turn three could be a variety of things. We'll see what he brings down. So that's just going to die. And I think I'm just going to lightning bolt it. Next turn I'll still have two. I might want three next turn. I'm going to go with the lightning bolt. I think these guys are... This seems to be more aggro from what I'm seeing here. But I'm not going to get super crazy about it. I can bring out a totem next turn. Feral Spirit, again, I just don't want to keep overloading. So Feral Spirit's not what I'm looking for. And also, bear in mind... I do have Wind Fury and Rock Biter. So I can get a Leroy combo that's super scary. And this is what I'm talking about. He doesn't want to do much here. And I'm just going to keep drawing... So, like, this is a tough spot for him. He can kill that minion, but it's going to cost him a lot. A 1-7 with taunt. Okay. A 1-7 with taunt is not scary. What is scary is a Yeti with Wind Fury. So I'm probably going to Wind Fury Rockbiter that Yeti next turn. Well, do I really want to now? Maybe I just, like... I don't know. No, I think Wind Fury Rock Biter is better. I'm going to just be able to do a lot of damage very fast. Okay, so if I Wind Fury Rock Biter for. If I Wind Fury Rock Biter, I'll have. Uh, five, four, three, two mana left. So I think we're going to do it. Heal it up. And now I'm just drawing cards and I'm just, I've got a, a 4-5 that just basically can keep hitting for 2. Tink, give me a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, we got really lucky there. Got really lucky. That was like clutch for him. He doesn't do that, and that could as, may as well be game. But I still am in a really good spot. With 6 mana, I can just literally fire elemental and just keep pushing forward. I do have to be careful with the turn, eight, uh, turn 10... Um, uh, mind control, so I've got to be careful with that. But I do have the ability to hex stuff if I get my hexes. Okay, five damage, Holy Nova. He's delaying, but I've got a really good hand here, so. And he's only got one mana left, so what's he gonna play for one mana? Seven mana, what am I gonna do here? Four, five, six, seven might be better. But 8 next turn will be really good. No, 8 next turn I'm not going to play Alakir. 
So that's fine. And then nine, my plate. So the question is, do I want the fire elemental? You know what, I think fire elemental might be better. Four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Since he's used his, um, his, I think what I'm choosing here is since he's used his, um, oh my god, I keep drawing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to lose a card next turn. Holy shit. Since he's used his direct damage for five and not his AoE, I'm, I didn't bring down a bunch of small stuff. That was my logic. I'm literally going to burn a card next turn. Pyro. So it's, that's going to be two to that and three to everything else. And one to everything else. And then that. Hell. And two more. That's not bad. That's really good on his part. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Look at this card draw. That's Cray. That's a lot of card draw. What do I want to do for eight? Um, oh, I did that the wrong way. Should have done the big guy first. <clears throat> okay, so Rag's got to get hexed. I'm just hoping it hits like Alakir or. That's fine. Okay, so nine, eight, seven, six. afraid of him taking Karn on turn 10 because it looks like that's what he's trying to do here can always silence my Karn, but it's like he's going super late game here. Two from the deck. He's got eight cards. It's a tricky little combo with the Pyro and the Healer. Okay. So ten, nine, eight, seven. Two, three, four, five. Four left. I could have Leroyed and cleared his board. Probably should have Leroy. <clears throat> Two, 
<clears throat> yeah, I should have Leroyed. 6-2 on board. He could probably clear this board, though, with a 2 cost, 2 damage uh, to my stuff, 2 healed all his. So that could come down soon. I'll keep that in mind. Destroy a minion. Six, seven, eight, sixteen. Hmm, five damage. Five. This will do three to four. <clears throat> He's overloaded, so we can't mind control. I will have eight next turn. Mm -hmm. Five damage. Those are the two cards he got from me. It's going to be overloaded again next turn. I will die. Oh, four left. Could probably kill Leroy, but I just don't want him drawing cards. I could have lava bursted it, but yeah, I didn't want to. Okay, Shadow or Death, that's actually really fine. Two health, this thing's gonna die. Uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to thirteen, sixteen, eighteen. Nineteen twenty. That's really good. He's at 10 health. He can steal my 4-4, but that's not the scariest thing in the world. I've got 7 damage. Double the healing power. Okay. It's GG. Damn right I bested you. That's what I'm talking about.
Hell no. Hell no. I don't mess around. Priest. Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, Shaman, Shaman. So Shamans are generally running a lot of late game. So I want the Mana Tide. Rockbiter might be helpful. What is it early game that he could have that scares me? Feral Spirits is one thing. That's annoying. Totems with... I think... I'm gonna get rid of the rock biter. Mm. You know, I can't wait for a late game combo. I think I want to keep it. At least now I have some removal early game. Without it, I wouldn't have any. I wonder if it's one of these. It's got to be some variant on my shaman, somewhere somehow. But we'll see. He gets the coin, so he could coin out ferals now. Uh, this on his turn two, which is not. It's kind of tough for me, but it's not the worst in the world either. What's he gonna play? Okay, that's fine. That's actually really good, and I'm really glad I kept the Rock Biter here. So this is a different deck than what I'm used to. A fairy Dragon. So that's either aggro or anti-mage, anti-priest, anti-druid. So it's probably going to be ag aggro. Ferals. It's a good card. I think the defender is better here because he can't kill yeah he has to use two things to attack I think that's better here he could lightning storm actually no he can't lightning storm he's only got two mana so he's gonna have to use both of those guys to hit and then in which case I can clear both of his ferals with my two drop minions unless he has a lightning bolt actually he has a lightning bolt which he does okay nicely done so now he can lightning bolt. Okay. Do I bring out my own? Or do I bring out my Drake? Probably bring out my own and then I can elemental next turn. If he brings out a flame tongue totem, that'll be tough for me because he's going to be able to kill one of my drakes. But it's not the worst in the world. If he goes straight to the face with the flame tongue, then that's really interesting. Hex. Hmm. And now he's going to kill the hex. That's okay. I'm fine with that. This is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. seven next turn I can fire elemental and lightning or I can feral or I can face this manip like he doesn't have any lightning bolts ah fire elemental fair enough it's the fire elemental wars and right now I'm winning but he's got six cards to my five, or it's five to five, so I draw. And then it's, uh, I'll have seven next turn. Might want to bring out the Faceless here. 
ferals are good. I can now bring out my own ferals. This is not a problem to bring out my own ferals at this point. Unless I draw like a lightning storm or something. Earth shock. So three three. <clears throat> I get to draw cards. So, uh, I've got a little bit less health. I've got better board control, and I certainly have a lot of options. If he has a Blood Mage and a Lightning Storm, or if he gets... Please don't get the right one. Oh, that's brutal. He's going to kill everything. So that was my advantage that just went away right there. Got really lucky. Um... <clears throat> that was really lucky on his part that he got the right totem because otherwise I wouldn't have lost everything on that board. I had a 50-50 chance to keep all of those minions with four minions. Probably going to keep two minions. Okay, he's going to draw a card. That's nice for him. I think I'm going to faceless manip that and... and uh, coin. Wow. That's really nice. I'll have 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is better because the title, the thing alone, is not bad. <clears throat> Got my hand kind of remaxed, but I'm at 11 to 29, so I'm actually in rough shape. I will have eight next turn, though. There you go. He's gonna hit the face on that. Oh no, he's not. Okay. So that wants to die. Do I have a way to kill it? That's not bad. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So at least I've got some protection. He could have another lightning storm, but again, he'd have to get lucky with his uh, blood mage something combo. Oh, there it is. Now he can lightning storm. I forgot about the drakes. That's true. So I'll have six next turn. That's good for me. That's really good for me. So. I'm going to give one of these guys Wind Fury. That dies. That dies. Totem. Wind Fury that. I'll have Alec here next turn. <clears throat> and a hex for something scary. I'm at 11 health. 
but I could theoretically be drawing cards. So let's see if I get it. Okay, that's fine. That will die to that. Um, love burst. At least it's not to my face. That would be GG if it's to my face. So lightning bolt. What I really need is my Nat Pagel to start drawing. Ugh, he's not drawing. Really need to be drawing cards now because I'm running low. Drake. I kind of want to save my Hex. Restore three health. I really need to draw something. Chill and Yeti. I feel like he's probably not going to have bigger stuff. I'm not going to leave anything on board because he is running Rock Biters as well as. <clears throat> He's running rock biters as well as flame tongues, so I can't let him keep anything on board. And I had to use the hex. I had to gamble right there. But he doesn't have anything gigantic. Okay. I'm really hoping he doesn't have anything super scary. What? Two, three damage. That's really good for me. Earth shock. Okay, so I can do two to something. Probably that. And then that kits kills that. Two to that. And that kills that. Just think about this. I'll be down to two health, which it can be killed by. No health. Gotta get rid of the spell totem. I can't take damage. That's the problem. Is um, I just can't take damage, so I need to keep that guy up with 11 health. And I really want Nat Pagel to be drawing cards. That's like three or four turns he hasn't drawn a card. Please, Nat, wake up. Wake up, Nat. Okay, that's really tough. I like need a miracle hex or something. Six. I really need card draw. Nat, Nat. Draw, it's five turns you haven't drawn me a card. I can't win without cards. It's so brutal. So brutal, Nat. Hmm. I don't want to give... There we go. Hex. Good. Something super scary comes, I can at least deal with it now. And I everything's at three health, so I can't be lightning stormed. Okay. Draw a card. Totem. He's probably going to lightning storm. Yep. Please let it all live. Let it all live. No, everything dies. Okay.
Nice. Nice hex. Four. Ten. Next turn I'll have... Ten damage. <clears throat> well, ten damage next turn. <clears throat> I need something... Hmm. Fire Elemental. Okay. I am almost out of cards. Shit. I have to play this. Wow, this is getting down to the wire. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is so down to the wire. I have eight damage on board plus another six. So that's a lot of damage. Oh, the burst. I think I'm one damage away from killing him. So, can make my guy bigger. So I'm gonna want to hex it. I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna want to kill his totem next turn, which will give me the ten. But I don't have the eleven. I think I have to go for it. I'll get four fatigue, five, six, seven. This is really tricky. So those two will kill Leroy. Yeah, and he's gonna get a totem, but it will be the might not be the right totem. Okay, so I can I can get it under one health. Get it under one health. I think that's the move. Giving him five damage though. Five, six. Seven damage. So now, if I get if he gets the five five, he can use that and that five. <clears throat> Thank you, fatigues. Boom! That was well played. Wow. Wow. Fatigue death. I definitely needed to just ma check the math. I wasn't, I was just kind of, yeah, the fatigue got him before the turn, but 
crazy. It, I think that was the best way to play it. It's a really tricky end, so I'm not sure. But I think saving, not giving one of my guys a 1-1 and saving it to get rid of his is really important. I will say though, I'm really excited that I'm keeping my win ratio versus Shaman up in the 99th percentages, 99th percentile. Don't like losing Shaman versus Shaman. Priest. Okay. No, no, yes. Extra card. Maybe. Maybe I get rid of get rid of the Rock Biter and just do these. Keep the Lightning Bolt. The one thing is he could have the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, fairy dragon, but I did catch a lightning storm, so that's fine. What I'd really like would be my mana tide, but I can turn three yeti, which is good because as a four five, he can't kill it with power, power word, shield, or pain, or what have you, and I can the next turn give it wind fury, wind fury yeti. An 8-5. It's not bad. <clears throat> Harvest Golem. Okay. So I could Yeti here. But I could also... Lightning Bolt. Kill it. Nat Pagel. Oh, come on, Nat. Wake up. You weren't you weren't awake last time. I need you to wake up. What's up, everybody? How to shower pain? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna yeti now. Same idea with the yeti. Just I didn't want to do it that turn. I wanted to draw out, get rid of his minion, his harvest golem. <clears throat> Drake four six. Oh, what a draw! Wait, do I want to? Do I want to? No, I can't. Eight damage a turn. I have a lightning stone to deal with whatever he puts down, and on six I can faceless manip. Tink five five, that's fine. Shadow word death. That's a three. Two card for two card. That's not bad. Lava burst. Hmm. I can Leroy Lightning. No, I can't. There's nothing to face this manipulator. There's actually nothing to do that turn. That's tough. That actually rarely happens. That really rarely happens. I don't want a lava burst. Because on turn, I turn to have five, seven, six, five. So that's brutal. That's fine. That guy's going to die. Five, six, seven damage. That's a hell of an overload, but I got rid of one of his scariest cards in the game, so. Doubles the damage and healing of your spells and hero power. It's crazy. Holy fire me for five. It's like ten damage right there. Eight. I'll four this turn. I think it's mana tide time. Draw me them cards. Tink is good. I would really prefer like a uh, 
like a fire elemental or something, but another Drake and a Shadow Word Pain. I think I might want to take this Drake. Um. Oh, I definitely want to take this now. Four seven. Seven's tough to deal with. It's four attacks. We can't shadow or pet to pain or shadow or death it. And seven hell. Yes, Sarah. That will have to be tinked. I have ten. Five five. I could do. Could Leroy. Could also bring out the ferals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do that. Next, our Leroy. When things die. That five, five. I'm going to kill once it takes a little bit of damage with a lightning bolt, and I'll bring down Leroy. Bloodlust would be sick. 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18 damage. 5 damage. Okay. Does he have 2 more damage? Totally smite. Nicely done. Okay. Took 2 cards. That will die. That's what he got from, from whatchamacallit. 8. Let's see here. 8. That's 7. <clears throat> that 3-3 three, three is okay, but it's going to take some damage, so I can get rid of it in, in a variety of ways. Okay, that's going to get healed up. Two to everything. Well, that's interesting. That was a nice move. That was a nice move. So next turn I can get rid of both of those. Both getting low here. Heal that up. Okay. Okay, so he's going to get rid of it, which is smart. Now I've got another one. And now I think I'm okay here. So I'm going to do... Six damage. So, I killed the 4-5 because the other, my Bane, only had 4 damage. Okay, he's going to heal. Oh, that's clever. Okay, I'm fine with that. Crockbiter. So, 12, 13, I think that's game. 6. No, it's not. Six, ten. Yeah, GG.
GG baby. I'm gonna take a little break.